thank god and they had a good amount of stuff that i needed but i'm just like disheveled i don't know what i don't know what i was thinking mm -mm -mm. what's up youtube we're on our way to go have dinner with my mom oh hang on break 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 see this is why they say this is why they say but uh anyways we're on our way to go have dinner with my mom yoli's in town for a few days and then we're going to oakland together it's been one crazy day actually like Yoli flew in, she landed around three o'clock. I planned my day around Yoli landing at three thirty because that's the flight information she sent me. And thank God I asked because it turned to three o'clock quickly. Mm -hmm. um, this morning I had an interview, which I can't further discuss, but it was something dope and hopefully it turned out to be something epic. Um, and I've been ripping and running around Dallas, like literally all morning, doing last minute things before I had to pick up Yoli. Picked up Yoli, someone forgot their makeup. I still can't believe it. Someone forgot their makeup in Chicago. Like, I ain't never seen anything like it, guys. Anyways, we had to rush shop at Ulta. And then now we're on our way to meet with my mom in five o'clock bum rush traffic here in Dallas Fort Worth. You're really good at putting your makeup on. I only, I literally only do my makeup in a car. I like don't know how to time properly and like get ready nicely. I thought, I don't know, I thought I was landing at one. I thought time travel was a thing. I knew I was leaving at 1230, <laughs> but I don't know why in my head I thought I landed at one. And I was gonna have all this time to like, I was gonna do a get ready with me. I was gonna do this cool transition. And now I'm like, what did I think? You like, thought. we are straight. I barely had time to put my bags down and like, we're going. Every time I try to do a get ready with me, it's literally like, it's, it takes me 30 Everything minutes. Everything happens. Yeah, I'm like, okay, this, this, I thought it was going to go way faster. Anyways, we'll see you guys when we get to the restaurant. It's going to be a nice little vibe. We're going to show Yoli downtown for work. So we went all the way up to the... Atico, which is a rooftop spot. It's nice weather out here in Texas, so it's like perfect rooftop weather. But when we got there, there was a private event going on. So we couldn't go up there. We had to revert and come to Wishbone and Flint here in Fort Worth. But it's really, really nice, and the food is really, really good here. And we still get the patio, so second best. Yo, Yoli almost passed out earlier because she hadn't <laughs> ate all day. And she wasn't talking or anything, but now she won't stop talking. <laughs> was it weird to you? <laughs> yeah. It was weird. I literally could, I could not speak. I was like, and it was just nauseous because I couldn't, I just was not okay. But I'm okay now, thank God. <laughs> we got some truffle mat. We got beef skewers and muzzles that my mom's going to eat. Because I don't know, I'm not, I don't experiment like that. Y'all already know what's up. Creme brulee. As you can see, the sun has went down. About to enjoy this dessert. <laughs> All right, we are wrapping up. It's called Oval. A meatball truck. <laughs> this is me alive, you guys. It was a close call. I don't ever want to feel that again. That was wild. I literally felt like I was fainting, or like the life was escaping out of me. You guys, you know, like um, in Harry Potter when the Dementors come and like take the joy out of you? That's literally what was happening to me. But I'm back. I'm saying words. I'm alive. Um, and it's a beautiful night. Is it dark? Uh, no, it's not too bad, baby. It's picking up enough light. Did we ever take her to the Amber Room? Never no. been. Oh, we should just go sneak a peek in there. You wanna go? Yeah. All right, let's go look. Is We're going that, to a speakeasy. Like a... Oh, it's like dungeony. Yes. It's getting medieval. Medieval times. Honestly, one of the best kept secrets. Oh. <laughs> Are you? Uh oh. 
You can't find spots. Someone's sitting at their usual spot. It's really cute. Fort Worth's really cute. It really is. So what do you mean? Well, I think it's because she always takes me. You're trying to live here, or what does it mean? What you say? I'll have your phone. Oh, oh my God. thank Thanks. you. Wow. Oh. Wow. Why did you come here? Wow. Why did you come here? I figured you'd call it eventually. No, I didn't even notice. Thank you. Wow. I left my phone. Did you get that on camera? Yeah. A jet lag. A queer it's came and got it for me. Oh, they do have an express Y'all, I mean, never I'm not a fan a of Yoli game. just losing her phone like that, okay? <laughs> I never lose but anything. I'm actually really good. We're gonna let that slide. We all got espresso martinis in this nice, groovy, low key, secret society room. Let's taste it. Cheers. Ooh. It's definitely. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a good one. Ten out of ten. Hey, Derek. What's that? Not bad. Go back to Walu. Derek. What I say? He told us. Look, it's really good. That's a good espresso martini. I hate it. <laughs> it's pretty ugly, and I probably don't do it right. Going for a quick sneak peek at Evelyn's house. Sneaky peek. Nick's got a lot of words to say. She's just, she's danced out. Yeah, I'm still breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still catching my breath. Right, I'm like, she's yeah. so much tired. <laughs> what do you do with you, Sue? Back at it again when I'm on my video. Yoyo's cleaning like the maniac she is, but honestly, I appreciate it. Thanks. Don't forget to clean our neighbor. Everything's getting clean, spotless over here. You know, what you just witnessed was uh, Yoli having an OCD flare up. <laughs> the most not OCD person. Have they seen you cook? No, but. We just witnessed you clean the plane, and I, I witnessed him you know, like staring at you, and I, so I had to say something. I had to say something to the people that were all staring at you like this, in amazement, and I went like this. <laughs> and then to icing on the cake is the, the little mask. Let's see your mask, state of the art. It's a Henry mask. Uh -huh. If you know, you know. We don't. My people do. Who's your people? My people out here, y'all know. Uh, Alright, we finna, I'm about to go to sleep peacefully. Jolie finna get suited and booted, I guess. We have arrived, we have arrived. We're about to drop our bags off, then go get our packet pickup for the race tomorrow, then go eat at our favorite restaurant. I forgot what it's called, but it's so good. Oh, Farmhouse. Farmhouse, yeah. I yeah. think that's the name of it. Uh-huh. Let me pay attention. No drinking and driving. Man, I really love these things. What? These. It's nice. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, beep, beep. Just say excuse me and people I, I, will probably know. It's excuse okay, me she didn't hear you. a tackle in her, you know? I, I didn't hear it either, otherwise. But we'll run back the video and see. Oh 
Look, typically I never have to get sassy with anybody. Um, just a bit of advice, um, general, general kind of like escalator and kind of moving floor kind of... I don't know why you're still speaking about this. To the right, we should stay to but the right. I don't care. I just don't care. Yeah, we're... Yeah, I'm so glad I actually recorded that. But it's like she was li he was literally about to tackle Yoli on the walkway and that's not a vibe for me. Like if I got to set my my luggage aside right quick to get physical, it's going to be a problem. And you know, we just got here. No. No. There there was something <laughs> but he was literally trying to hop over you and i'm like um there's no way in hell bro say excuse me and people will move right wow 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 just look i'm not trying to act a fool in san francisco okay ain't from here i'm just trying to go to my hotel room right quick and eat good food. you know but that was wild and i wish the camera i don't know if y'all saw that or what I got, but I'll run it back, make sure I'm not in the wrong. Oh, look at this. Look, very interesting. Harvey Milk made history in 1977 when he became the first openly gay individual elected into office in the state of Cal California. Why? He was in Texas. You know you gotta visit the great state. That's so cool. And shout out to San Fran for this. Yeah. You know, um, this water fountains are nice. Ambient water? Cool. Let's see if Yoli's doing it right. I think it's the side that. Oh, there you go. Put it back. Oh, this is nice. Luxurious. Yeah, look at my nails, though. Okay, always travel with a water bottle. It's green, it's earth friendly. Thank you, baby. And also, airport water is like $2. Let's tell them what happens to your water bottle every time you travel, making it, no, defeating the purpose of it being <laughs> green. <laughs> I, I had like, I have favorite water bottles. I love nail jeans. And like every time I travel, almost the last like few times I've traveled, I, this is my fourth water bottle because I keep having too much water through TSA and I have to dump it out. It's sad. Uh, it's sad. But what happened at the t at DFW? I was like, oh no, not again. And the nice man was like, I'll dump it out for you. And he did. So sweet. Yeah, so I got to save my water bottle, thank God. Uh, but this is my replacement. My like third or fourth replacement. Yeah. So go green, but empty out your water before you get to TSA. <laughs> Drink water. Yeah. All right, we're going to baggage claim because I always check my bag in when they do the complimentary check-in because I don't feel like toting my bag around, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm toting Yoli's bag. I don't feel like toting my own, you know? So, I'll take full advantage of the free check-in. A few moments later. We made it. We did have a ride, but our ride said, uh, look, it's too far, okay? Because we landed in San Francisco. And I, typically we're flying to Oakland, but it was, there was no direct flight. It was all with like flight connections. Oh, okay. So, you know. Well, I get it, I get it. So, we caught an Uber, our lift, and now we headed to Oakland. We're here at the packet pickup. We literally, we couldn't check into our hotel room, so. And our favorite restaurant is gonna be closed by the time we're done. They're doing like a changeover. Oh, you want me to call and see if they're actually doing a changeover? I did want you to, but maybe they have snacks inside the expo. I'll be running the 5K, which is gonna be around that lake. You always running the 5K nine in the too. Morning, huh? Yeah, nine in the morning, that's good. That's good time, that's a good time. All right, let's go get our packets. It is 10086. Thank you. Oh, I did your government name. Dang. Put me on blast like that. That's crazy. You ready for your bed? Yeah, this is my first one. Thank you. Thank you. Yo. 
job. Okay. Okay. Look at that. My very first one, guys. Um, I need my bib. And was it not over there? Yeah. What's the bib number? Um, one zero zero two five six, or something like that. No, that's not. Let's one, say one zero, one zero two five six. Yes, that's it. One zero Yoli? two five six. Yes. Great. <laughs> yeah. You were there. You just added an extra zero. <laughs> okay. So five kids. Let's go ahead and you just registered. And you're right there. Um, Look at that. Wow. I'll just put your shirt size for you so they can see it. Where's my shirt size? It should be here in the corner. It just says shirt size. Oh, I can do that for you. Oh, oh. you know why? It's because you registered late as well. Oh, okay. I can do it for you. You registered me late? I guess. There you go. Okay, and then what's your bib number? 10086. Nice. And see your bib. For Celeste? Yes. Oh, I love that name. Thank you. 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 Thank Both of ours? Yeah, I got one. Nice, Under Armour too. 2024 Oakland Marathon. Cute. And on the back, all the sponsors. Love it. Nice. Nice. Do you like your size? Because I think you could switch here. I think I got you a large. Okay. Yeah, nice. It's good? Okay. One hour later. Alright y'all, things happen. We were supposed to go to farmhouse and they don't open till five. But we're starving now. So we came to this pizza spot right next door to it. And um, seems it's just as fire. We actually came really? here one time and we had like drinks and sat by the fire last time we were here, but we didn't get to enjoy the food. But we're looking at other people's food and we're like, yo, that looks good. And so far we tried we tried the shrimp, it's gone, we demolished it. Sorry, <laughs> can't even show it to you, but it was so good. Oh, so good. It was insanely good. Um, we ordered pizza. The pizza. I mean they're known for their pizza, so we ordered the pizza. And I mean, I might still be hungry, so we'll see. We, I mean, once we're done with this, we'll be able to go next door and eat the food that we want. But I think we will only have room for dessert. You sound so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about after we're done here, we're gonna go next door and eat more. I don't think so. For but dessert? Maybe for dinner. Um, I mean, it is kind of dinner time, but you know, we're gonna be moving around, so we might get hungry again later. So, worst come to worst, we come back. You already know. Yoli with the <laughs> attributes to our video. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Looks fire. She'll be the judge. It's got, um, it's a wood fire pizza. It's got thinly sliced jalapenos. Um, girl, pepperoni and something else. It's about to be good. And you talking about someone from Chicago. Okay, let's see. Moment of truth. Oh. It's good. Okay. It's not like a butter crust though, so it's just like does not compare. It's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Alright, which one my side? The other side? Are those not the fans? Mm-hmm. We're here at our restaurant and we just left the other spot. We are so hungry. Like, and now look at the line, bro. They're not open yet, but that's how good they are. I'm trying to tell you. But y'all already know because we already made a vlog on this place. So we probably we probably should not make a vlog on this place again. Like all we do is eat here. No, we this is like our favorite spot. It's so good. It's so good. It's about to be so good. We're ready to go to the menu too. We're <laughs> so thirsty. Yeah, for real. <coughs> they open at five. Yeah. What? What? You actually what? No, I actually don't know what I'm gonna order though. What did we decide on? I'm getting samosas. 
I don't know where I am she a little full, but then we're like, do we order food and just take it to go? Oh, there I am. And just take it to go for later, we don't know. So. I'm not opposed to that. Yeah. Oh, well, you can go ahead and choke on yours. Go ahead and choke on yours. She's talking, she that, talking that noise about my meow kitty. Kitty meow meow or whatever they called it last time. And then... Oh, this last time. Yours looks fine with that little cherry. I mean that cherry, that jalapeno. I called it a cherry. Oh, let me get off Yoli's vlog, man. We too cool for her. Okay. Look at that face. How is it? Say it loud. It so You're kidding me! I need to have one now. So, okay, she literally has not been. We have not stopped talking about this damn place. And no, it's not sponsored. Mmm, mmm, my god. Mm -mm -mm. Literally, people instead of traffic and stuff, people are like parked. Oh my goodness, good morning y'all, it's race day. And I got my gear on or whatnot, but I woke up at two o'clock this morning to street dragging. So like, I mean, is it street dragging? I don't know. Where they're doing donuts in the middle of the the street. Anyways, they did that for about an hour, y'all. <laughs> and I had to get up and see every time. You know what I'm saying? So of course I'm tired. But here we go. We're off to the race, literally. I have you the, got the key? I have the key. Yeah. Look at my little watermelon. Um, all right. And then put the pins in there. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to do mine. Yoli's going to demonstrate how she does hers. She's the pro. Okay, ours are battered because... Oh, hey. Ours are battered because we did not come prepared yesterday with like enough bags. So it like, got stuck in my purse. But it's okay. All right, to be continued in the car. Look at that real runner. There she is. The running queen, not the dancing queen. <laughs> yeah, I like that fit. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. I'm just following Yelly, but I think Man, I should- I saw people walking really, over there. I should probably really pay attention yeah, because- you know I'm not- Yeah. Not sure. yeah. Well, you look, I got my bib on. So there's that. Yoli got hers on. Let's see it. We did it ourselves, don't judge us. Right, it's a little lopsided. We have a ride. We're here, lined up. This might be the fastest that I finished ever in three miles. How you feeling? I'm fucking strong. I PR'd at age 36 and a half. Granted, it was just 5K, but I feel like good. Strong. Let's it's solid. Let's see that medal. Nice, Look huh? at that. Oakland Marathon 2024. Let's go. <laughs> right here is a winner. Let's go. A finisher. How do you feel? I feel good, actually. I finish every mile at 1030. That's not likely. Ooh, let's see it with the nails. Let's see it with the nails. 
Grab the metal with the nails. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, this is the best part of outside of Chicago. Super excited. It's already a really good turnout. Yeah, there's a few people the in there. Is good. Everyone's like excited. The weather's right. Yeah, the weather's perfect. So. <laughs> yo, yo. It's a little bit nervous. I am. You are. Always. But, but you I always great. am. And Literally, it's, be a it's good the night. jitters before every party. It doesn't matter which party. I'm always just like, there's so many random things. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a vibe tonight. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go. Mother chicken, yams, grains, and mac and cheese. rushing to Yoli's podcast right now. Thank you. Good. Good. Enjoying Good. How are you this doing? weather. We are on our way to Yoli's podcast. Oh, and Yoli just woke up. So she's a little sleepy, a little cranky. But she gonna kill the podcast per usual. I might get some behind the scenes footage. You know what I'm saying? For the blog, exclusive for y'all. The Noli fam. Do y'all like that? Leave it down in the comments below. Let me know. Alright, um, we about to pull up. Real quick, it was a real quick easy drive. And the time is 1 1 1. So you know that's a good sign. 1721. Looks like we're here with our luggage and everything because the next stop is the airport. How are you feeling about this? This is really your first podcast. Um, it's my second, second. My second official podcast. Before doing podcasts, we had like at least 30 interviews. And that was like with Entertainment Weekly, with People's Magazine, with New York. I mean, it was, that was more exhausting. This, I'm just, this isn't even about the show. This is them asking me about growing up as an immigrant in Chicago, um, being a queer Latina, stuff like that. So that I'm excited about. It's not much more like what happened with you and Xander. So, so, yeah, feel good. I'm just tired. Oh, no. Better wake up. I will. I will. I need, like, chopstick. I'm literally, like... I got some in my pocket. Mm -hmm. sound like this. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. You can oh, hear that, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that machine ate her shoe and then she like was shoeless for a little bit and then one comes out the other one's gone then there's this dude standing there and i was like do you work here he clearly sees her looking for her other shoe he's like oh i did see a shoe she's looking for her other one he's like oh i don't see it anymore i'm like well can you find it she needs her other shoe oh <laughs> like you like what do you like anyways they found it it was like where was it it fell off of the ramp. It, I mean, fell, it fell off, off the, of the x-ray machine. It fell out of the x-ray machine. So this girl's out here with one shoe on, and she has this, like, superstition about not having both shoes on. So I went and put the other one on. So she, went, <laughs> she won't stand up with one shoe on. She'll only stand up. Like, she won't take a foot or a step without both. I'm tired. That was a long story. She's long I'll be talking. I'll be talking too much.